This is a serious course about ChatGPT, which is a serious tool for serious data scientists looking to seriously up their game. But that doesn't mean that we can't have a bit of fun along the way. And in this video, we're going to have some fun exploring ChatGPT. Actually, the real underlying goal here is to continue introducing you to ChatGPT and give you some experience and familiarity with the interface. But yeah, let's switch to ChatGPT and have some fun. Okay, I'm going to start by asking ChatGPT to please write lyrics to a rap song about scuba diving in Tenerife. I really like the island of Tenerife. I, I like scuba diving. Scuba diving in Tenerife is fine. Maybe not the best place in the world to go scuba diving, but here we get a, a rap song about scuba diving in Tenerife. Yo, I'm diving deep, Tenerife in my sight. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to rap through this whole thing. But you can see, you know, it, ChatGPT gets the concept of rap lyrics. It knows that there should be rhymes, so sight and flight, plunge and lounge, close enough. It understands the overall structure of songs. So there's a verse, and then there's a chorus, and a verse, uh, and a bridge. There's going to be maybe another verse, and then a chorus, and so on. Man, this is really a long rap song. And we even get an outro. Uh, this is great. I love reading these things. All right, let's try another one. Uh, do you know any jokes about the brain? I happen to like the brain. Here's a joke for you. Why did the neuron go to therapy? Because it had too many issues with its cell F. Oh, okay. Now see, when I see ChatGPT giving answers like this, I think uh, either uh, humanity is not going to be enslaved by, uh, by robots because they can't even tell a joke, or uh, if robots do enslave humanity, then uh, that's really bad for comedians because uh, robots might outlaw humor. Okay, but seriously... This actually does, uh, th th this ineptitude of ChatGPT to create jokes uh, or do anything with humor is, I find, really curious and thought-provoking because it does so many other things that involve writing so incredibly well, as you will see throughout this course. But it just completely bombs with jokes. So there really is something that is very unique about jokes and humor that uh, is really special for humans and, uh, and machines are just not yet able to do anything remotely human capable. Okay, let's try something else. Please write a two sentence horror story. I don't know if you're familiar with two sentence horror stories, but it's a, it's a beautiful, remarkable style of writing. Basically, yeah, just it's, it's what it says two sentence horror stories uh, that involves being in space. Okay, and now I'm not actually clarifying that it's outer space, but ChatGPT uh, is going to infer that. So the astronaut glanced at the Earth from the spacecraft, marveling at its beauty. Then a chilling realization struck. The reflection in the window revealed that he wasn't uh, the only one on board and it was no longer human. Okay, so that's okay. I have seen better two-sentence horror stories from ChatGPT. But uh, this one isn't so bad. It, it certainly serves the purpose. Okay, let's try something else. I really enjoy short stories from Ted Cheng. Can you recommend some other authors I might like? Now, I don't know whether ChatGPT has actually been exposed to Ted Chang's stories, but certainly ChatGPT would have been trained on text about Ted Chang's stories, reviews, people on Reddit and Twitter talking about Ted Chang's stories. So it will be able to come up with a list of other authors that I might like if I like Ted Chang's short stories. Okay, so I'm just going to click this button here for stop generating. Here's another one. Can you give me a riddle to solve? Let's see what kind of riddle it comes up with. Now, I haven't provided any parameters or any specifications for the type of riddle. And let's see, here's a classic riddle for you. 
I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body but come alive in, with the wind. What am I? Take your time to think about it and let me know if you need a hint. So that's interesting. We can ask it for a hint. And now I happen to know that it's an echo. Um, and that's because I've asked ChatGPT for riddles before. And somehow it not always, but very, very often gives me exactly this same riddle. I, I don't know why that is. Okay, so there's one more that I would like to use, and uh, I've already written this out elsewhere, so I'm just going to paste it in. A nice gift for the secretary of the department. So here's a question, and now I'm providing some more details, some more context to help ChatGPT give me a good answer. So she's about 50 years old. She likes to read murder mystery novels, and uh, it's a Christmas present, and I don't want to spend too much money on it. So let's see what ChatGPT says. A thoughtful and affordable gift would be a paperback book. So ChatGPT knows that paperback books cost less money than hardcover books. And here it's suggesting Agatha Christie, Louise Penny. These are all fairly uh, famous um, authors. And uh, yeah, exactly. So ChatGPT is, is giving a fair warning that we should try to find out if there's a book that we want to get for the secretary that maybe she already knows. And this is also a nice thing to include. Remember to include a personalized handwritten note from the gift to express your appreciation and holiday wishes. Okay, so that's it for this demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I encourage you to spend more time interacting with ChatGPT. Remember that it knows the entire history that you have been chatting with it here. So you can reference things from earlier in the conversation. So spend a few minutes playing around, interacting with ChatGPT. When you're ready to start the course proper, come back to the next video.